We see our sun, we think it's always going to be there, but it won't. Now, our sun's not going to explode, it's too small, but most stars end their lives in big explosions. And these explosions are insanely bright. So if you can imagine a lightning bolt, imagine the power of a lightning bolt, and then imagine a hundred million, billion, billion, billion of them. That is one star when it blows up. So we are looking for the world, the universe's biggest explosions, the biggest ends of the star's lives. And in that, use that as a light source, a candle to measure the universe as a whole. So we measure things over space by measuring sticks, lightning, light bulbs. So, you know, you're standing down the street and you have your light bulb next to you, and then you have the light bulb at the end of the street. Well, the light will have faded by the time it's got to you. So if you know how bright your bulb is and how bright your bulb should be, you can calculate that difference, and that difference is a distance. And by measuring distances all across that space, by those markers all across the universe, you measure how the universe is growing and what it's doing. Right now, the slow process in discovering supernova is waiting for a human to check it. And because we're not always up it all the time, we sometimes wait a day, even two days if we're away. But with citizen science, with the power of the people, we can check these things in hopefully minutes and tell another telescope to start following it up and get data quicker and better. So we can then turn that to understanding what dark energy is, what is causing the acceleration of the universe, and maybe might lead to a new Nobel Prize.